Hello everyone, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music, and today we're going to go ahead and continue our beginner guitar lesson series using Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method, Grade 1. Alright, so today we're going to go ahead and take a look at page 19. And on page 19, we are going to learn two new songs. We're going to learn Kumbaya, as well as Michael Row Your Boat Ashore. But both of these songs are going to utilize a new concept, which we haven't yet seen. And that is a dotted quarter note. In a previous lesson, we talked about dotted notes, but it was a dotted half note. And as you know, a dotted half note gets three beats. But if we refer back to the concept behind the dot, it will help us to know exactly how this works with a quarter note, okay? So whenever there is a dot next to a note on the side of the note, the dot is equal to half the value of whatever note it's attached to. So in the case of a half note like we've seen before, a half note is worth two beats. So that dot is equal to half of that value. So the dot is equal to one beat. You have all, add all of that together and a dotted half note is equal to three beats. That concept is exactly the same for a dotted quarter note. So a dotted quarter note would be one and a half beats. Because a quarter note is equal to one beat, the dot is equal to half that value, which is a half of a beat. You add that together and a dotted quarter note is equal to one and a half beats. Now that might sound scary, but really it's, it's no more complicated than just playing quarter notes and eighth notes. If you look at the top of the page here, it even gives you an example and it shows that a dotted quarter note is equal to a quarter note tied to an eighth note. That's another way that you can think about it, is that it, that it is equal to that. Now in most cases, especially right now, you're going to see that the, the note following the dotted quarter note is going to be an eighth note. So if you look at the little exercise at the top of the page, it shows that rhythm over and over and over again dotted quarter note, eighth note, dotted quarter note, eighth note, dotted quarter note, eighth note, to kind of give you an idea of what that's going to sound like. All right. And it also gives you a counting pattern. We talked earlier about how to count eighth notes with one and two and three and four and, okay. You can use that to count this, all right. So it's showing you one, two and three, four and, one, two and three, four and. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make beats two and four I'm going to kind of make those silent, right? One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and three, and one, and three. Okay? That's the general idea behind this dotted quarter going into an eighth note. I'll turn on the metronome so you can kind of see how it works. So at 72, here is that rhythm counted out loud. Now if I was just to count it exactly as it shows on the page, it would technically I'd be counting a quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth, right? One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Now we're essentially just getting rid of that first eighth note and we're counting it in our mind, but we're not playing it. One, two, and three, and 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 one. That's the idea behind a dotted quarter note. It's equal to one and a half beats and it's usually going to be followed by an eighth note. If you're struggling with this rhythm, please check out my Patreon page. I'm always loading new exercises and activities to kind of help you go further in depth with what you might be getting here. And I have some exercises on there that will specifically help you with the dotted quarter note rhythm. Now I will play that example that it gives us at the top of the page that we've just been counting. So here's what it sounds like playing that example. One, two, ready, and play. All right, let's 
so let's go ahead and see if we can apply this to Kumbaya. Now you're going to see that we have some, uh, some dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythms. We also have some tied notes to watch out for. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward from, from the stuff that we've been seeing. So here's Kumbaya at 72. Melody. One, two, three, four, one, two. Great, that's the idea there. So a couple little tricky things to, to look out for. I, I find that the biggest thing that holds people up on this exercise is making sure that you're holding out those long notes for the correct value. And again, it boils down to counting each individual note through the tie. And you can hear me even when I'm playing this, just counting two, three, four, one, two, just really getting in the habit of counting through those long notes to make sure that I stay in time. All right, so here are the chords for Kumbaya at 72 on the metronome. One, two, three, four, one, two. Let's go ahead and try this at a faster tempo. I'm going to jump it up to 100, which is kind of a normal tempo for, for this song anyways, right around there, 100, 104 maybe. But yeah, we'll try it at 100. Here we go. Melody at 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Let's go ahead and try some chords. Here are the chords for Kumbaya at 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2.
Good. Like I said before, the big thing to look out for on Kumbaya, aside from the quarter note, the dotted quarter note as a new rhythm, is just making sure that you're holding those tied notes out for the correct amount of time. There's a lot of different situations, right? You have half note tied to a half note. You have a whole note tied to a half note. You have a dotted half note tied to a half note. A lot of different note values going on there. So just make sure you're checking that out. If you need to refer back to previous lessons where I talked about tied notes and how they work, please do so. And uh, yeah, you should, you should be able to do just fine on that. All right, so the next one up is Michael Row Your Boat Ashore. We're gonna jump back down to 72 as our good starting point. And uh, let's hear how this melody goes. So 72, Michael Row Your Boat Ashore. One, two, three, four, one, two. And that's it, it's kind of a short one, but it is utilizing the dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythm. So watch out for that. And let's go ahead and try it with the chords. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Here we go. All right, let's jump this up to 120. This tempo might be a little fast for this tune, but it's also just a good goal tempo to, to be building up to. So here's 120 as your goal tempo melody. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Chords. Here we go. I'll play the chords, you play along. One, two, three, four, one, two. And there it is. Again, like I said previously, if you haven't been on my Patreon page, please check it out. There are some great options for you there to have access to some more content that will help you uh, with more exercises, more activities, just to go deeper than maybe what you're getting right here. And there are some specific exercises on there dealing with dotted quarter notes and, and how they work. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.